Are y'all ready to go to your new home? I think they're ready to go. for Peppa and George and um, we're just gonna go move them. She is due any day y'all I'm telling you she's due any day and because what for the past month it has been doing nothing but absolutely flooding. Um, if she has her babies they're gonna drown so I um, put off a little section today while he was working but I was not about to move them by myself. So we're gonna move Peppa and George over into another little pen by the barn that I put together today. Um, I'm not saying that her babies won't get out, but we're hoping they don't get out. Um, I secured the bottom as much as I could, and um, I'm gonna let Colby double check over that. And um, I think they're gonna like it over there better. It's covered, it's full of hay, it's clean, it's dry. It's just ready for a baby. Okay. And, and I think that she will be a lot more comfortable there. I think that her babies um, stand a whole lot better of a chance um, compared to what they're in now. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the fence that's right there and basically kind of make them a shoot and lead them with food over into the barn. So that's what we're fixing to do now. Right, taking the fence down, here is a bucket of food. That Colby is right here behind you. Um, here goes nothing. We're praying that they'll follow to food. Um, I'm kind of going to stand in this gap right here. Back here and hoping that they will. That they will follow. Um, hold on. I really need to do something with this bag before you let them out. Hopefully they won't find the bag. We'll see. Here goes nothing. They can get out. Come this way. I think she's stuck. <laughs> the other pigs can clear jump that. They can actually jump both of them. But the American guinea hogs cannot. I'm really thinking they're gonna find this bag of food, y'all. I'm a little nervous. All right, we have that little section right there blocked off with the cattle gate, but it is not secured. Um, we just kind of put it there as a, a fake blocker for them. Um, we got Harley down at the other end down there. We're going to try to kind of walk them through this and walk them under that net. All right. You might want to grab the bucket. Grab the bucket. Yeah, I gotta get this out of the way. Alright, here goes nothing, y'all. Hopefully they'll follow the food. They've never been out of this pen. Never been out of the pen. Oh gosh, we got one out and the other one won't come. Oh daddy, all oh, daddy. Oh, she's just going to go right by the bag of food.
Hey, big. Hey, big. All right, bring him. Come on, big. Come on, big. And they've done their whole life. Yeah. Come on. Shoo! Shoo! Hey, Harley, stand over there. Stand over there. Stand over there. Eh, eh. No. No. Shoo! Stand over there, Har. Okay. There you go. Come on. Whew. Well, that was better than I expected. All right, let's do this. Can you get me that piece go of... Go put some more... Go give me that screwdriver right quick. No, pour them all this food. Okay. There's I'm going to get a bucket. I don't want to pour it on the ground. Um, Harley, Daddy, throw a bucket out over there. Go get it. Okay. Or never mind. Well, still get it. We need that in the water. All right, so y'all haven't been into the barn yet. So this is our covered barn that we originally had for milking as a secondary station. Um, but we just don't use it. We just don't need it. So we have this secured up here. All of the bottom, you can see where I have some secondary, some secondary straps down there to secure all those little holes that were there. I think she's going to like this more. It's clean and dry over here. We're, we can keep fresh hay over here better. All right. So more. you can see that this is, this is put up. It's pretty secure here. Um, they're not, the, the bottoms are strapped down. So if she does have her babies, I have secured all little holes where they can't get out. Um, I think she'll be happy over here that's clean and dry um, and we can keep hay cleaner and fresher over here seeing that it's covered and your rain is going to run off and initially go this way. So They are happy. What do you think Harley? Now we just need to have some babies. She is, I wouldn't say fully bagging up yet, but she's definitely getting big down there. So I was estimating sometime in February and we, so we'll see. And this was the only other place that I noticed that I feel like her babies could get out was under the bottom of that gate. So we're going to put a board up and secure it up here. So, Daddy, do you think you should do it from the other side so they don't have a gap here? Yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I would do. Do yes. it from the outside. And then that way, when the gate, make sure that the gate will close. It will. It's just a chain. So um, that was the only place that I've seen that her little babies could possibly get out. I just think they're going to be so much happier over here. That's one chore done that... I'm glad is is done. I, they were making me a little nervous because they've never been out of that pen. They've never had to be led anywhere by food. But I'm glad they did good. Um, now we gotta get that other net and move for the sheep. Yeah. So we can work on that right quick. But I'm glad that she's gonna be happy. We'll put put them a little bit more bed of hay in here. I think she's gonna be happy over here. 